Hello, all you beautiful people. This is Intentional Healing, and I am Nicole Bridger. Today, I want to talk to you about a concept um, that in order to have all the feelings that you desire out of life, it's required that you feel them now, just as you are, just as the circumstances are, not when. Often we can hold everything we desire out in front of us like a carrot, dangling, um, never to actually have it in our experience. So before we begin, let's take a deep breath. Noticing where out there today already your mind has been, what's been calling your attention. And as you inhale, simply calling that thought energy back to you. And as you exhale, sinking into your chair, releasing any tension, giving yourself this gift of presence for this next little while together. And slowly open your eyes when you feel ready. So I want to start with a few examples um, that might solidify this concept for you. So let's start with body. Um, I want to lose weight. And whenever I think about losing weight, uh, it comes with guilt, judgment. When am I ever going to do that? I need to do that in order to be loved or liked. And there's a real heaviness um, around your self-worth, that there's something wrong with you that should be different. And what we do is we think to ourselves, well, I can feel confident, I can feel good about myself when I lose the weight. But two things are happening there. One is that even if you lose the weight, it will never really be enough to fill this part of you that feels unworthy. And the other part is that it actually keeps what you desire um, away from you. So how we fix, <laughs> fix, um, how we shift this um, is to think about, well, why? Why do I want to lose weight? What do I want to feel? I want to feel vibrant. I want to feel healthy. I want to feel energetic. I want to feel in love with my body strong, able to do whatever I needed to. I want to feel confident and beautiful and shine. As you hone in, because each of you, it's a little bit different, right? As you hone in to what it is specifically that you are desiring to feel, your job is to allow yourself to feel it right now, just as you are. What would it look like to feel beautiful just as I am right now? What would it look like to feel strong and energetic, confident? Because then the feelings that you desire are not reliant on this specific outcome. And you actually can open yourself to all kinds of possibilities instead of pigeonholing into it must look like this. My happiness must look like me being skinny and wealthy, let's say. 
Um, let's try this example with money. You know when you've um, maybe experienced it yourself or are experiencing it or have seen it in others, um, the uh, hunt for financial wealth and freedom, that often it can never be enough. It doesn't matter how much you accumulate, it somehow does not fill this void in you. And again, for each of you, that void is a little bit different, that fear. Is it proving your worth? Is it feeling safe? And as you begin to ask yourself what it is that you're feeling that you're afraid of, that somehow attaining this thing that you want will you believe that it will be enough to prove to yourself um, that you are enough as you begin to listen to that part of you you can ask yourself well what is it that i I really want to feel. Why is it that I want to, to have so much wealth? I want to, and this is, um, this is an interesting one that might require um, a lot of honesty and gentleness, but sometimes it's, I want to feel superior. I want to feel powerful. I want to feel like nothing can hurt me. And in those, in those specific examples, you can actually um, listen to what the fear is behind those. And now, as you begin to listen deep inside of yourself, with those specific examples. What, you know, why do I need, why do I need to feel superior? What is it in me that's afraid of lack of power? Now shifting into the light of, why is it that I do want to feel abundance? Because abundance is a natural right for all of us and is surrounding us all the time. We just need to see it, choose to see it. I want to feel generous. I want to feel secure. I want to feel successful and confident. I want to feel freedom. Asking yourself, what is it that I divinely want to feel? and giving yourself that now. Finding small ways in which right now you can allow yourself to feel generous, to feel abundant, but not from a place of fear. Oh my gosh, okay, if I want money, I gotta be generous. Okay, I gotta like give. That's not what we're talking about. That's from a place of fear still but actually starting to allow yourself to feel abundant now. Noticing, wow, I am surrounded by abundance. Abundance of air, of drops of rain, of blades of grass, of things to do. And there, as you begin to allow yourself to feel abundance, generosity, success, allowing yourself to feel successful now instead of when, what happens sometimes, um, and these can be, um, these examples can be used for anything that you're experiencing that you want to feel now. Um, 
And what we do often is we focus on all the reasons why we can't feel it now. I can't feel abundant now. I've got, you know, $100 in my bank account. I can't feel love now. I'm going through a divorce. I can't feel beautiful. I'm 40 pounds overweight. So these um, voices in our head, believe it or not, are actually trying to protect you. They're trying to keep you functioning the way that you've always functioned and shown up in life and, and with your coping mechanisms that you've always used. And how we shift it is to love that part of you that's scared. Love that part of you that believes that more shame and judgment is what's going to motivate you to be different. Even if you use shame as a motivator to change habits, you may get to that finish line and still not feel the feelings that you desire from this. You may lose the weight and still not feel confident and beautiful. You may earn the money and still not feel abundant and successful. So the concept of whatever it is that I desire in my life right now, I need to allow myself to feel those feelings now, not when I attain or achieve this perceived goal. But if I allow myself to feel the desired feelings now, then all the, that I desire can come to me. And sometimes it might even surprise you uh, because you open yourself up to more possibilities instead of pigeonhole, pigeonholing to what you think is going to bring you that feeling. You open yourself up and get into that feeling now that you want, and who knows what might arrive on your doorstep while you're holding that vibration. And you might really be surprised what it is that, that really shows up when you allow yourself to feel beautiful just as you are. When you allow yourself to feel love and loved right now in this moment. When you allow yourself to feel successful and abundant right now. I hope it's helpful for you guys. We could go on with many different examples in there and I will um, offer you guys a meditation at the end of the week that you can also check out. Please um, feel free to reach out to me with specific questions. It's always nice to do that. And uh, my Instagram is Nicole Bridger, my website, NicoleBridger.com. Like a bridge over water with the R at the end. Um, and I wish so much for you all the feelings that you desire to arrive into your existence. I hope you have a blessed, blessed day.